Hi everyone, this is Carla Wynick with today's inspiration. I want to first apologize just in case as I get into this I began to cough. I have a, um, a bad cold right now and I'm coughing and I'm going to try to get through this without going into a cough mode. Um, so please forgive me. Uh, I want to speak briefly and I want to encourage somebody out there right now who perhaps is on um, very bad grounds or in a bad position with their own family. I cannot imagine having family members that I'm so angry with that I can't talk to. I cannot imagine, you know, that we just don't talk. I know that there are mothers and daughters, sometimes they don't talk. There are sisters and brothers that they don't talk. Um, you know, uh, father and children, I just, I just cannot imagine that. Um, but I want to encourage you, if you're in that position, to make amends with your siblings. Make amends with your family. Family is wonderful. Um, my, um, both of my parents are deceased. Uh, I do have, um, you know, extended family. But the nucleus of that family now is just myself and my two brothers, Michael and Ira. Michael is the oldest, then there's me, and then there's Ira. And uh, I was so touched by this, um, my brother Ira. Uh, he's moving into a new house. He's buying a new house. But when I was uh, talking to him about it, he was telling me that the house is big enough for all of us. There's space for me and, and, and my family. There's space for, for Michael and his family. And I was just so touched. And I'm thinking, he's looking for a house. He's, you know, this is his investment, but yet he's thinking about all of us. And I had to smile and thank God because, you know, I know this is how we were raised. You see about one another. You love one another. You care about one another. And he tells me all the time. He says, as long as I have, you have. As long as I have, Michael has. And, and this is how we feel. You know, we are there for one another. We all live in three different places, three different states. Um, you know, we have our own lives. We have our own families. We have our own jobs, our own responsibilities. But yet, we are still Laura and Michael's children. We are their offsprings. We were raised by them. They taught us. And... They taught us with words, but they also taught us with action. Family is there for family. And so, again, I cannot imagine not talking to my family. You know, you love one another. You see about one another. So I want to encourage you, if you have family, you're blessed. There are some people who simply don't have family. You know, or they, they, may, be, they may feel alone. But, but if you have family, you have living siblings, you have living parents. You know, I I can say I don't care how bad it was. I can say I don't care what happened. That's not bigger than the love and bond that you should have. I know that there are problems, there are issues, things happen, there are challenges, and there are dysfunctions. I understand all of that. But the bottom line, and at the end of the day, what it comes to is that your family. Remember when you and your siblings were growing up? Remember how close you were? That shouldn't change. In, in fact, now that you're older, you should be even closer. It's a different relationship, you know, as adults, of course. But that's your family. Don't go another day without not talking to your sister, without not talking to your brother, without not talking to your mother or your father, your child or your, you know, your grandchildren love one another and don't take advantage of one another you're there for each other don't take advantage don't try to hurt one another your family that means a lot that says a lot so my encouragement today is to get it right with your family love your family thank god for your family if you need to forgive you need to do that you need to do that as long as you're ho holding on to anger and resentment and unforgiveness, you're going to be weighed down. It's going to hold you down. Maybe they don't deserve the forgiveness. Maybe they don't. But you need to give it so you can be released of all that's holding you down and weighing you back. Forgiveness is more about you than it is about them. 
God's going to take care of, of, of what needs to be taken care of. And just pray that they will come around and acknowledge the wrongdoing, if that's the case. That they will acknowledge it. Sometimes just because somebody didn't say, I'm sorry, you know, we, we, we ang we're angry. I understand that. I understand that. I really do. But don't let that hold you down and hold you back. Love your family. God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Y. Nix with today's inspiration.